don't forget about our uh, 500 subscriber, $500 giveaway. Um, that will end on July 1st, assuming we hit it. We're making good progress. We're at like 364. We got, what, 10 days left? Is that right? 11 days left? So all you have to do, be a subscriber to the YouTube channel, specifically the YouTube channel. I know we're everywhere, but YouTube. Subscribe. Leave a comment on any of our videos. It doesn't have to be this video. It can be the last video. It can be the next video. It can be all of our videos. Not everybody will be put into a... Nobody's gotten this far. This is the boring episode no, that this, everybody this is be, just... This is going to be back in the beginning of the okay. episode. I'm cutting this from this. This will be back at the beginning of the episode. So, <laughs> And they're listening to this like, what, what? And yeah, we're talking about this at the end, but it's going to be at the beginning and at the end. Okay. So enter that. And then assuming we hit that on July 1st, like the goal is... We will move on to our 1,000 subscriber giveaway. And here is what I would like you to comment specifically on this video. Should we do one $1,000 winner, two $500 winners, or four $250 winners? All right, let us know. The week of the 8th, if the 8th is the, the first episode of that week, that Monday, that will be the day that we announce who won. Okay. okay. So... Comment, subscribe, share with your mom, share with your cousin, share with your priest, share with your pediatrician, share with your neighbor, share with a prisoner that has access to you. <laughs>
Okay. So, and I mean, this goes, this is for everybody. Like everybody has a couple of vehicles made in the U.S. and everybody has a bunch of vehicles made outside of the U.S. that are imported. Okay. There's, there's some law where like a percentage, it's like if you build the engine in the U.S. and then ship it to your factory and then ship the vehicle back or assembled in the U.S., mm -hmm. wordplay, right? Right, right. That's how they get around like tariffs and sanctions. It's 90% done. And right. then you bring it here, then one guy slaps a logo on it and, oh, it's done. Cool. Loophole. Right. right? So last I saw, mm -hmm. the president had gotten like, I don't know, 2,000 likes on this post with like 30,000 views. Okay. And Greg had like 30,000 likes with a fraction. Or I guess it was more views than that because. Yeah. Kind of, yeah. But yeah. And he was like, he quote tweeted himself and he's like, isn't it in the Constitution that if you ratio the president, you become the new president? Oh, my goodness. So now everybody's Photoshopping Greg into, into the, the Oval, White House. Into the Oval Office. <laughs> There's, and you know the sticker with Biden doing this, the I did that. They've got that like in the back window, like he's pointing at Greg. Look. That's funny. Yeah. And then That's they have funny. then they have all the uh, all the memes. They have the um, now I can't think of the frog, and uh, Doge and everything else. Like all the different meme characters are, okay. are like his cabinet, his staff. It's pretty funny. It's good stuff. So, uh, going back to Justin Timberlake, then real real quickly, mm -hmm. he um, got arrested in New York, right? I believe so. Because he lives in the Hamptons. So so the tweet that when i googled it after the fact i took i think i sent you the screenshot didn't i about all the other stuff that they said he popped out for yes so that whole thing was fake so the name of the the name of the page is poo culture so obviously you shouldn't be taking any news from somebody who's called poo culture yeah. um so so they were this spewing is, this is apparently, fake facts. This is apparently like a satire page for like teenagers. Like that's like who their target demographic is. Okay. But people actually believed what they were saying. I'm just trying to follow. Yeah. But I mean, so the one thing that they said on there was like, like Coke, Poppers, Molly, and then Truvada. And everyone was like. That's the HIV drug, yeah, right? Yeah. Everyone was like, how do you even test for that? Well, um, a lot of times there are inadvertent you know, drugs that you can test for because it might have a similar chemical makeup or compound. There's no way it would have come back that quickly. No. I mean, it could. There's, it wouldn't be a forensic test, though, and it wouldn't be able to be upheld in court. Mm -hmm. It'd be like a preliminary test that you do just to see, like, do we even need to do a forensic test? And nobody would be testing for Travada, Travada. Like I said, it might be. So when you do certain panels, mm -hmm. there, it could have a component in it that is similar to a component that is easily tested for in other drugs. So I take so they, it they were they were taking a play off of the fact that it's Pride Month and they were trying yeah. to imply so, that he was coming back from a, an event. Yeah. So pretend here for a second that you okay. have, they have a pill capsule, 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 whatever mm -hmm. you call it. And within there, you have, I don't know, five or ten different chemical components, right? Okay. The lab would likely only test for one, mm -hmm. and it would be the one that's the easiest to test for and also doesn't have a conflict with something else. Right. Unless they were going to, there's there's multiple different schools of thought with this. Like you could do like the broad approach and then narrow it down where you could just look for certain markers and certain compounds. Okay. So there could, and I'm sure there isn't, but there could be a possibility where something in that drug could be testable. But that's not what they would put on the report. They would right. put whatever that compound was. And not for a DWI. Well, depending on the state that you're in and what the laws are, if they had a warrant to draw your blood to begin with and you popped hot for everything else, mm -hmm. they could charge you for that because they're mind-altering substances. No, I'm talking about the Trivato, Trivato, whatever. It, like I said, it could be it could be that something, is, and I'm not saying that it is, Mm -hmm. But there could be something in that that is similar or the same as. Just like when people uh, pop hot for like different hemp drugs. Did you say pop hot? That's what they say, yeah. That's what they say? Yeah. yeah. 
That's what everybody besides me says. Yeah, pop hot on because drug I've test. never heard. Well, that I've never been drug one. tested yeah. in my entire life. So pop Just, hot. What? Never. Never in my entire life have I been drug tested. Ever. You, yes, you have. You no, just, I you haven't. You didn't have to do it for any criminal reason. No, no, I haven't. You've never had your blood drawn? Yes, of course I've you've had my had, blood drawn. You've never had the urine sample taken? Yes, I have. You've and they test you for HCG levels to see if you're pregnant. But you have That's what everyone... Tested. No. You just accused of... Yes, you just weren't accused of it. No. Yes. I've never been drug tested. Yes, you have. Everybody has. Never yes, been drug tested. So... Um, anyways, back on track here. So yes, it's possible, and I'm not a chemist, and I haven't looked at the chemical makeup of Truvada, but it is possible that a component could have a similar component to something somewhere else. Just like I said, like hemp derived drugs versus marijuana. Mm -hmm. They just test for all rather than getting in the nitty gritty with it. Mm -hmm. Same thing. But this all came from a spoof account. Yeah. And people believed it. Yeah. Like if you Google it right now, all of the news articles are fake, 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 not real, not real, satire, blah, blah, blah. And what happened when I sent you that meme? It was blurred out. Yeah. Apple censored the meme mm -hmm. in her text thread. And I screenshotted it and I sent it back to him. Which means they're running the CSAM features and everything else on your phone that I'm pretty sure they're not supposed to be running. Or at least it's supposed to be opt-in. You well, know what that is, right? No, that's I don't. The, that's the child porn screening. Like they, they, they're going through all your all your photos on your phone, current and past, your text messages, everything like that, and they're looking for it and sending it to the police. That's how that that guy got in trouble for sending pictures to a doc, his doctor. What? What guy? Uh, this happened a couple of years ago. This guy was like, "Hey, I, th I believe it was during COVID." Mm -hmm. He sent the pictures to his doctor mm -hmm. and the, it was either Google Drive or Apple. It was one of them. I was either the phone or a service on the phone or Google, one of the two, um, intercepted it and it sent it to the police and he was arrested for it. He was like, these are pictures of my child right. that I'm sending to, to my the doctor pediatrician. Wow. You guys should have never been looking at this to begin with. Mm -hmm. It's a huge fucking privacy violence. Right. And so... They roll that back. Mm -hmm. like, oh, we're not going to do that anymore. But they. But trying. maybe they actually are. Yeah. Gotcha. But the fact that the fact that it got blurred out in your yeah. text on your phone. Mm -hmm. That's pretty crazy. Yeah. Because he he sent three memes at once. Mm -hmm. It only blurred that one of Justin Timberlake. The other yeah. two came through perfectly fine. I know I'm not going to remember to put it on the screen, so I'm just going to try and do it right here. <clears throat> so here's the screenshot. Let me get out of this real quick so I can see. Here's the screenshot right here. You see the blur, right? But in the, the actual thread that I sent her, it's... it's <laughs> Don't break your phone. It's this. So this is the thread that I sent her, these three images, okay? And on her phone, it blurred out the first one, the Justin Timberlake one. So Apple's scanning your text messages. So that feature needs to be turned off. And you said it's called what? I don't know if it's explicitly called CSAM, but that's the like the law or the whatever they were trying to push. It's like, I don't know. I don't even know. How would I even find it to turn it off? Let's check. If it happened in like a recent update, maybe? I don't know. Apple CSAM feature in messages. No, it said CSAM. No, CSAM. Apple CSAM. Feature in messages. Standard protections for children and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, Apple kills its plan to scan your photos for CSAM, but now on May 7th, about communication safety on your child's Apple device. I'm not a child, Apple. Yeah, yeah but I... <laughs> so that was, that was one of the other things that they were trying to say. Is they, they, if you had like a... a I don't know what it is on, on Apple phone, but like if you have like a kid's account mm -hmm. for your devices, mm -hmm. they would have extra protections and features where if they intercept an image, that's set, an illicit image sent to them, mm -hmm. they would report it off. The kid would never see it. That is what they claim that their intent was, was protecting the children. Sure. Yeah. So 
Yeah, there's provides clarity on why to ban it. There's no way to even set up a kid's account anyways, as far as I know. I think you have to be 18 to have a phone or iPad in your name. Otherwise, it's in the parent's name. Uh, Apple blurry images in my text thread. If sensitive contact content warning determines that you've received a photo or video that appears to contain nudity or blurs image. So it thinks, it, it thinks that... Uh, uh, so they are scanning, mm -hmm. and they're going to try and say that it's done locally, and there's no privacy. No, they're sending it back. And mm -hmm. there's no way that you can prove that they aren't because you're in a lockdown ecosystem that you don't have access to the source code like we do. I didn't understand a word that you just said. Essentially, okay, so. It doesn't matter. Here's a good analogy. Carry on. No, this is a good analogy. It would be perfect for the audience and for you. When you did your math homework in school, right? Mm -hmm. And you had to show your work. Mm-hmm. Android has to show their work. Apple just turns in the answers. Okay. Yeah. Perfect, Anyways. Perfect analogy. Okay. So is there anything else you want to talk about regarding Justin Timberlake and his rural arrest? What do you think? Uh, I believe he said to the officer that he'd only had one martini yeah. when his eyes clearly show otherwise. And according to the officer, he reeked of alcohol. Couldn't have been. You, you know those big glasses? Oh, yeah. Them? Or like when you go to the Mexican restaurant and it's just one margarita, but the one margarita is as yeah. big as that laptop. Or you had one glass of wine, your glass happened to be the one bottle. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, it could be factually what, accurate. What, what you're not defining by volume, but right. rather by container. Right. Yeah. Right. So, I don't yeah. know. He's, I don't know. There's a lot of conspiracy theories being thrown around regarding Diddy and that they're bringing him in to use him in that case. I don't know that that's the case because the well kid who person. pulled him. He's a well-liked person. Though. Yeah, I'd say so, overall. He's so, had to he's had to make a few apologies. So you know what they tend to like to do in these kind of cases. Mm -hmm. is you get a slap on the wrist. Mm -hmm. Don't do it again. Right. Now you have to make commercials for us. Right. No, yeah. But like I said conspiracy is that they are they the feds are going to use him for diddy and that's what this is really for so the the boys and i haven't seen the season but i've seen some of the stuff about what the boys are actually doing so they do parody of real life mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. but then also it's superhero fiction right, right. Stuff. like jerking off on top of the eiffel tower or whatever it was but they have they had this like a uh, conspiracy convention thing mm -hmm. and a bunch of the conspiracies were things that are known to be true, like mm -hmm. to the viewers, mm -hmm. but to the general population or, or the people in the show, it's just theories. Like they believe it, but there's right. no evidence. Right. But it's just showing how, like, sometimes you can be pretty damn close, or you might actually get something right. Mm -hmm. But I think we've talked about this in another episode before. When you're a conspiracy theorist and you're just like throwing all this shit and everything is a conspiracy to you and everything has some ulterior motive or whatever, mm -hmm. like people. You're actually hurting your case because people are going to believe anything you say. You might be right about one thing, mm -hmm. but because you are so far gone and off the wall over here, right? Everybody's like, "Dude, just shut up!" Just, right, right, right. I'm so sick of hearing all the nonsense you're spewing. And when you get something right, now you dig in mm -hmm. because you're like, "Oh, I was right that one time." So right. I'm right about everything, and people are like, "No, dude, you just happened to get something that was obvious." That doesn't mean anything else that you said is right. <laughs> so, but I don't think it's a, cons a conspiracy. If they wanted him in, they could just subpoena him. Like, don't mm -hmm. give him a DUI. Yeah, no, I, I think it definitely is alcohol related and yeah. it just, yeah. it uh, happened. Uh, and people, people are, the, his mugshot is going around. It's like when something, like, it's, it's everybody like a sad moment or like an angry moment. You're like, <laughs> Yeah, it looks like he's been crying. That, that, That's that, what it looks like. That, that Affleck, uh, smoking. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So everybody's... Speaking of, do you want to talk about Ben Affleck? Why? Uh, he and J-Lo are going through a separation, possibly getting divorced. Round two. Oh, okay. They're selling their house. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the end. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> he should come back as Batman. That's all I have to say. Affleck. Good. He was okay. Oh, good. He was okay. 
I like murdery Batman. That's a that's a comic accurate Batman. Just the the um, animated TV series when we mm-hmm. were kid is what created the rule of no killing. But that's not Batman from back in the day. Gotcha. Batman has a uh, very very violent, uh, angry mode, and even in um, the most recent one. The Batman vs Superman, I believe. He killed a lot of fucking people. He killed a lot of people in that movie. I didn't watch it. I was like splattering people with his car and like throwing them off of buildings and like. I think DC in general is stupid. You know, the graphics is terrible. The CGI is terrible. Well, they sabotage themselves. Which actually, quick little tangent, and then we'll come back onto the track. All of my friends that liked Game of Thrones were mm-hmm. disappointed with the end of game of thrones okay they have all basically come together and said we are not watching house of the dragon until the show is over like done done why because they don't want to be disappointed again because they they think okay and, i mean this is solid like hbo and warner brothers like they have that that bad reputation mm-hmm. of killing off stuff that fans love or you know in the final hour fucking everything up and so they go let's wait until they get everything right Mm -hmm. and then i'll come in and watch when everything is out so they're not even they're not watching the season okay and i believe the whole season's already out which i didn't i thought they were doing weekly release but i guess not i don't know we don't have hbo anymore so Mm, we probably do (laughs) <laughs> that whole i'm pretty sure that was everybody all at and so whatever but um moving along here uh actually we gotta watch that video of the hawk to a girl yeah you have to show that to me so, so i can be disgusted so talking about a little bit of stuff here for a second right? okay so the anti-sex beds i already right. mentioned a couple episodes ago but we know caitlin clark has been left on the, off the team right or i don't even think she was even able to try out which you would want, and, and this has happened in every generation, they've always wanted their biggest players, even if they weren't the best players. Right. Because n- and specifically for the NBA, mm-hmm. a lot of the NBA players are not American. So they go back and they play for their home country. So you, that makes want, sense. To, you want to have the strongest representation from the U.S. As right, you can right. Because you're losing a lot of your, right. like, these other countries don't have, like, a LeBron or a Michael Jordan. Mm-hmm. But they have other really, really good players. And so if she's a good enough player, she's right. the face of your organization right now. You want that popularity to carry over to the Olympics. So whoever made the decision to leave her off is an idiot. Whether, well, whether or not she was the best player, she doesn't have to be in the start. From what I heard, it was all the girls who have been bullying her who have prevented I, her I, from I, making I've, the team. I've, I've seen stuff where they're talking about how she's racist and all this stuff. Like, okay. Yeah. Um, I mean, obviously, we don't know her personally, so I don't know. But so, do you know? Uh, do you remember that um, Leah Thomas? I think is its name. The swimmer yeah. who went from yeah. the men swimming and was like two hundred and something yeah. or four hundred and something, so, whatever, so lost, and then was number one for women's, lost, and then lost an appeal to compete as a woman in the Olympics. Yes, which is awesome. By yes, way. I approve of that. Uh, but Katie Ledecky. Who is that? She's like the women's Michael Phelps. She's like the best women's swimmer. This will be her fourth Olympics in a row. So she's like on, I don't okay. know the stats, but she's like right up there with him as far as like okay. medals and stuff like that. So she actually has a chance now because Leah, whatever, is not allowed she, to. No, so the, the reason I put this on here is because I actually want to see that because I would love to see her fucking smoke that dude in a fucking swimming race. Huh? Why? Okay. All right. Well, I don't know what that was about, and uh, I also don't even know what we're talking about. So we're just moving along. Here's the video. Let's put, let's turn the volume up. Okay. Why isn't it? All I heard was, hang there, 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 there,
There, there's what southerner, you, what, what and then think? there's southern. A southern bell. No, that was not a southern <laughs> bell. No southern bell would be talking about hacking a loogie on some guy's dick. Well, she said that that's the move that every guy would love. That's what she thinks. Would you love that if I did that for you? Yeah. <laughs> but she's a she's an internet sensation now because of it. Wow. Uh, there's a okay. So there's a tropical storm. <laughs> Tony Hawk. No, it's Hawk Tula. So they've, they've been creating all these memes from it. Mm -hmm. She's not the hero we asked for, but she's the hero we deserve. Y'all are nasty. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, we're talking about Katie Ledecky and all that stuff. Um, yeah, it was boring. Yeah. It was putting me to sleep. Nah. So That's anyways, why I had to answer the so phone call. One more, one more um, Olympic thing. Okay. So there's a uh, they're doing the the tryouts or whatever right now, right? Okay. And this male swimmer just broke the world record for backstroke, right? By 0. 0.2 seconds. Okay. Okay. They are calling 0. 0.2 seconds, like the, the headlines are, completely obliterates previous record, destroys previous record. 0. 0.2 seconds is the amount of time it takes me to go, like, that's the difference. He could have just had a long, like, I'm not discrediting him. Right, like, right. Like, bust his ass. But he's, like, he's probably one inch taller than the other yeah. previous record-breaking yeah. person. Just, he just happened to be, like, eh, a little bit, <laughs> bit stretchier. A little bit stretchier. Well, just, like, the, <laughs> the sensationalism. Would, so, Can you I, grow in one inch for me? Yeah. So there's there's a uh, 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 this running theme, right? Every time, like, like voter turnout, we like, Oh, it's like a, it's a new record. It's the great. It's the most turnout ever in history. The fucking population is growing. Duh, it should always be the best turnout ever because okay. there, there should be more people. Right. Sure. Whatever. Yeah. Um, and then the last topic. Well, I guess the last two topics. Um, have you seen all these fake AI engagement accounts? They're making. They're generating. Persons. How would I see them? You've seen other news, so I figured maybe you've seen this. No, I don't. So I don't even know what you're talking about. They're generating these uh, pictures of like American soldiers, like amputees, and like so. You showed me that on like Memorial no, Day, but, maybe. But they're, they're still doing it. Like there's pages that have like millions of followers, and they're all like grandmas and stuff that are like, "Oh, pray for our soldiers," and like they're they're doing the thing where it's like, "Why can't why can't this picture of this veteran?" uh tr a trend or go viral or whatever and what? it's like he's like deformed his like three arms and like all the patches and the uniform is all fucked up and like people are people are falling for it so they're building these fake accounts they used to be poor bots but now it's fake age on they are generated soldiers the entire this is so weird to me i don't get it the entire purpose of these accounts it's it just to potentially steal your information. That and to sell to somebody that wants an account that has a million followers. Oh, you just started a podcast? Hey, I can sell you a page with a million followers. Mm -hmm. Not that they're going to want to be there, but yeah. okay. Yeah, but it tricks people. Oh, I'm, when did I follow them? I don't remember that. You actually have to go like five layers deep into Facebook to see when the page changed names and want to change ownership and nobody does that no did you even know you could do that before i said that you could do that no okay so. you told me this like 15 episodes ago that was when i learned it for the first time right. because you've talked about this before so stop engaging with them stop giving them likes stop sharing stop falling for it mm -hmm. and, okay one second before we move on to the last topic the official eight army account on Twitter and Instagram, instead of having a soldier or a spouse or hiring somebody, they did post, this. Posted an AI generated picture that was all fucked up. The flags fucked up. The the dad's arms like morphing into the kids. Like, <laughs> <was> like <laughs> like, an official U.S. Army. Yeah, that's really stupid. Division account. 
They fucked up. Yeah. And this is like, here we go. Stop barking. One second. We'll be back. Back again. I'll share your images. Don't be an idiot. Don't be an idiot. So we actually, we're, we're I'm talking with all the big mill, mill Twitter accounts and veteran Twitter accounts uh, because they were talking about it again this morning. Okay. And I was like, we just need to make, uh, specifically regarding Stolen Valor in the next episode, but okay. we're talking about starting an account that just does that. Has AI generated images for like the profile pictures and stuff like that, but then takes, so like three year Letterman. So like when Justin Timberlake was arrested, he used the lead singer from the other, from Backstreet Boys. Mm -hmm. He used him as the picture was like, gotcha. breaking news. And that he does that all the time. Yeah. He changes somebody's name. He swaps the picture. Gotcha. People get so mad about it. Okay. So we're talking about doing that, but for all these politicians with stolen valor. Okay. Yeah. Who's we? Everybody. Literally the, the account stolen valor. <laughs> Which he's so guarding the valor is the organization. The stolen valor is the Twitter account. Okay. It's, it's just dragging people. So yet another side project of you being on your phone and computer all day. No. Everybody will contribute. It won't just be me. It'll be sure. Fun. We already have a character name and everything. It's perfect. Okay, have fun. I will. Uh, last topic. Hmm. The Buffalo Bills. Did you hear the story? Do you know who the Buffalo Bills are? Aren't they a football team? They're the NFL team from Buffalo, New York, yes. Okay, what about them? No, I... They're in the news right now. Why? Because they started a gay flag football team. It's for real? It's exclusive to gay people. Yes. Is it just for the month of June? I don't know. But is um, it a big prank? I was like, is no, it's not. I was like, isn't that just soccer? Stop. What? What? That's not funny. Mm. That is not mm. funny. Yeah. So it's like the, the there's like. It's called like the National Gay Football, Gay Flag Football League. And I looked it up because I was like. Who do they play against? Because it sounds like just one no team. Idea. I have no idea. I have no idea. So obviously you can't have a well, league if it's only one team. I don't understand. So the way that they want to introduce American football, NFL, college, like football, real football. In the okay. Olympics, is they want to do with flag football. Yeah. You mentioned this like six episodes ago. Do you know anybody who even watches the bills or follows the bills or cheers on for the bills they have like a aging but die hard like right weren't they like they have, good in the 80s or something like that and that was it Simpson. okay so early 90s OJ played in the 70s. oh jesus <laughs> whatever okay so i was kind of right with my first guess of the 80s yeah <sighs> okay 50 years ago yeah. Sorry, Bills. Yeah. Sorry, Bills. So they're just trying to be relevant. They're pandering. Yay, more pandering. I want to say volunteers, yeah, but I, I saw the share and I was like, the Timberlake thing happened. But you're a thousand like, percent sure that it's real. It's a real thing. Yeah. Let me, I'll pull it up real quick. National Gay Flag Football League. It's real. Yeah. Yeah, so pandering. Yeah. Yeah. Interdusting. I'm officially entering the National Gay Football League as a tight end turned into a wide receiver. <laughs> Sweet. Y'all are nasty. Nasty. Um, don't forget about our uh, 500 subscriber, $500 giveaway. Um, that will end on July 1st, assuming we hit it. We're making good progress. We're at like 364. We got what, 10 days left. Is that right? 11 days left. So all you have to do, be a subscriber to the YouTube channel, specifically the YouTube channel. I know we're everywhere, but YouTube. Subscribe, leave a comment on any of our videos. It doesn't have to be this video. It can be the last video. It can be the next video. It can be all of our videos. Not everybody will be put into a... Nobody's gotten this far. This is the boring episode no, that this, everybody this is, is just this is gonna be back in the beginning of the okay. episode. i'm cutting this from this this will be back at the beginning of the episode <laughs> so and they're listening to this like what what and yeah we're talking about this at the end but it's gonna be at the beginning and at the end okay 
So enter that. And then assuming we hit that on July 1st, like the goal is, we will move on to our 1,000 subscriber giveaway. And here is what I would like you to comment specifically on this video. Should we do one $1,000 winner, two $500 winners, or four $250 winners? All right, let us know. Let us know. And uh, yeah, so in case you didn't see the other video where we talked about it, uh, ends midnight or I guess 11.59 Eastern time in, uh, in the U.S. on the 30th of June. On the 1st, we won't be accepting any more for that. You can continue because you'll be eligible for the next one. Just letting you know the cutoff for each. And then when we record that week for the 8th, I believe, is the episode, the first episode of the next week that will drop. I believe. I might be wrong. I thought I looked at it and I think that's right. The week of the 8th, if the 8th is the, the first episode of that week, that Monday, that will be the day that we announce who won. Okay. okay. So comment, subscribe, share with your mom, share with your cousin, share with your priest, share with your pediatrician, share with your neighbor, share with a prisoner that has access to you. Oh my gosh. Yeah. All right. And we will catch you later. Catch you later. Bye. Bye.